guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought that I would do a quick um, get ready with me. I'm actually going out to eat lunch with my grandma and my cousins. Um, so I will just show you how I get ready. And I would just like to say quickly that I am not a professional makeup artist and this is not a tutorial. I will just show you how I like to get ready and what I do. I will probably use wrong techniques and do things wrong, um, but I will just show you what I like to do. So I'm just gonna show you what I like to do when I get ready. Okay, so starting off with my hair, I will just quickly put some Matisse dry shampoo in my hair. It hasn't been washed for two days or something, uh, so just to freshen it up a bit. And I will just leave it there to sit for like when I do my makeup so that it can absorb the oils in my hair and make it look fresh again. Now I'm just gonna pin my hair back with this pink hairband. Like this, so that I can do my makeup. And I'm going to start off with a primer. And I'm using the uh, Lancome uh, Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm just gonna put this in the T-zone, because that's where I get oily. Okay, moving on to foundation, I will use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh foundation. And I will use this in the shade 130 Beige. True Beige. <laughs> and I will apply this with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Okay, now for concealer, I will use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20 and I will apply this with a damp uh, Real Techniques sponge. Now I'm going to set my entire face using the new Matte Maker Mattifying Power from Maybelline in the shade 10 Classic Ivory. And to do this, I'm using a uh, Bare Minerals Multitasking Face Brush. And I'm focusing this mainly on the T-zone, like in my forehead and on my nose and on my chin and under my eyes. Uh, I'm doing this because that's where I get oily and under my eyes I'm using it so that my concealer doesn't crease. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows, and I'm using the new Maybelline Brow Satin Smoothing Duo Brow Pencil and Filling Powder. So basically this is just a uh, Brow Wiz type um, pencil, and uh, on the other side, instead of spoolie, you have a filling powder, so that you almost like outline your brows with this end, and then you fill them in with this end. Um, I've actually only used this once before, uh, so it's kind of new, but uh, so far I'm kind of liking it, um, but yeah. And to set them in place, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Drama uh, Sculpting Brow Mascara in the shade Medium Brown. Now I'm going to bronze and contour a little bit, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal uh, Glam Bronze Duo in the shade 102 Brunette Harmony. <laughs> And to bronze up the skin, I'm going to use the uh, Bare Minerals uh, Multitasking Face Brush again, but this is another one of the same brush. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm also going to take the highlighter in the jewel and I'm just going to use my finger to put that on the highest points on my cheekbones. And also a little bit on the brow bone to give that a little highlight as well to bring that area forward. For blush, I'm going to use the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in the shade 10 Nude Mob. And this is a really, really, really nice blush. Um, because it has a bit of a sheen to it so it's really nice to just blend your highlight and your bronzer together to make it all look seamless and also just to bring a little bit of color to the face now I'm going to put on some mascara and I'm going to use my favorite mascara combo at the moment and that is the Maybelline Last the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full, what does it say? Full Fan Effect Mascara, and then the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And this is my favorite, favorite mascara combo at the moment. And I really, really like this combo because the Maybelline Mascara, uh, Give, uh, gives the lashes a really really nice like flared effect and really really separates them and lengthens them and the benefit one really gives them that extra like volume uh, so if you first put on the Maybelline one and then the benefit one it's it's a dream come true I really really love it Okay, so I've got a bit of mascara on my nose, uh, but I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm just gonna flick it away with a little cute tip. Okay, so my lips are very, very dry at the moment, so I don't think that I will put on any lipstick today. I would think we'll just go with a uh, like moisturizing lip balm or something. So now I'm gonna move on to my hair and I'm gonna remove my hairband and just give my hair a little shake <laughs> then I'm going to lightly just comb it through and now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Elnet Satin uh, Heat Protecting Styling Spray uh, and I'm just gonna spritz this through my hair brush it through again and then I'm gonna take my curling wand and just do uh, some loose curls in my hair I'm not gonna divide it or anything I'm just gonna like curl the ends to make it look a bit more glamorous so this curl I'm curling it backwards away from my face and then the next curl I will curl towards my face and I'm doing that so that it gives a more natural uh, result um, because I mean in real life all of your curls doesn't really go the same way just like that then for just some extra bit of volume in there, I'm going to use the Got To Be Powderful Volumizing Sty Styling Powder. And this is just a powder that gives you a lot of volume and texture to your hair. And I'm just gonna put uh, some of this in uh, uh, in my in the palm of my hand, Ooh. and this rub it into my hands. And then I'm going to put this into my roots 
So yeah guys, that was my completed get ready with me. Uh, I hope you liked it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you think I should film next and I will see you in my next video. Bye!